with Jay Fall of West Wisconsin Credit Union, the corporate sponsors for Hot Air Affair in Hudson. And Jay's going to tell us a little bit about uh, the sponsorship uh, and community uh, part, uh, how this all kind of ties together. Well, we had the opportunity, Roger, to uh, sponsor, become the corporate sponsor uh, this year when that uh, opened up, and um, we're really glad that we did. Um, our credit union and credit unions in general, as far as our philosophy, are to give back to the community, and we feel that... Um, Getting involved in events such as this um, are a good way to give back and to um, also expose people uh, to our credit union. Um, we have we get employees involved. Um, many there were several that were involved in the planning stages as well as volunteering uh, during the day of the event and. Uh, my family uh, was there as well, and um, we just had a great time. The weather was great. They had a lot of uh, people at uh, many of the events, and uh, we feel it was a great partnership uh, for, uh, for us and Hot Air Affair and uh, our members. Well, I know it's key to um, organizations like this to uh, be able to put the events on, getting the sponsors behind it, and, and it's great to hear the involvement. But, and you said also, so you, were, you went out and uh, sponsored Balloon, and uh, you had a crew out there that was... Uh, tracking them down, helping them put the balloons up and everything? Yeah, actually, um, several of our uh, people that uh, work in Hudson um, were part of the crew for one of the balloonists, and actually two of them were, had a chance to uh, help get it ready, and then they went up on Saturday and uh, had a really great time with that. And uh, we also flew on uh, Wednesday with uh, one of the balloons, and uh, it, it's a, just a great event, a unique event, and we felt that um, the timing of it uh, is great as well because it's a pretty significant loss long-term uh, winter event that uh, gives people an opportunity to uh, get out and uh, break cabin fever and have some fun. Well, an interesting thing is uh, Wisconsin is also uh, in Menominee. Um, I, we, we deal work with uh, telephone companies around the state, and uh, West Wisconsin just happens to be in Menominee also. Uh, but then you said you also sponsor Freedom Days in Menominee. Right. Uh, this will be the third year that uh, we've been a sponsor of Freedom Fest, the Chamber's um, Independence Day celebration. Um, it went on hiatus for a while, and um, as it came back, uh, we thought that it would be a, a good opportunity again to uh, uh, expose our employees and uh, to the community as well as uh, the community to us and uh, we um, help them with a lot of uh, marketing and other planning and provide a lot of volunteers and um, we've been trying to do that in many of the communities that uh, we're involved in to try to find a uh, uh, local event of varying sizes. Sometimes they're um, large events, uh, sometimes smaller events, but uh, we feel that it's a great way to um, support the community and uh, give back and um, um, help support um, the economic development of our communities as well because these events uh, do tend to bring in a lot of visitors and uh, they're spending money and um, that's a great thing for everybody. Well, I'm certainly a visitor. I call them all the way up from uh, Madison, Wisconsin area. So, well, I appreciate uh, taking the time for the interview. I wish we'd have been out uh, with the real balloons, but uh, unfortunately, uh, you guys were busy with the volunteer work, and I was busy filming over there, but I appreciate taking the time. Okay. Thank you. This could be close.